Hey guys, Duke of the Bum, Streaming with Orb. How are you guys doing tonight? I see uh, Introsis is in the chat room. Was he still there? Can you hear me? I'm assuming my settings are all okay. Everything look good? It says you left. But you're still showing up in the user list. Let me just try something real quick here. Eventually I'll get these tech issues totally hammered out so I won't have to spend 10 minutes at the beginning of every stream messing around with stuff. Oh hey, Exergia. I think my chat my chat window is lagging a little bit. I'm I'm using an IRC client instead of using the web chat room, just because it's a little easier to uh, to see everything and keep track of everything. Uh, I would recommend doing Giant Bomb instead of me because they're probably going to be way more entertaining. But uh, but if you're interested in seeing Wizard for the next few hours or so, then a couple hours, then this is the chat room for you. Uh, I already started a game, but I will start from the beginning because I, I barely did anything. I played the game for like half an hour. Can I ban self-deprecating comments? Well, you're not a mod at the moment. Um, or do you mean ban, ban me from saying self-deprecating comments? Because even if you're a mod, you wouldn't have that kind of power. Um, I guess I can make you a... Uh, well, I don't know if, uh, if IRC supports that kind of... Uh, that kind of status. Welcome to the chat room. Cost gem or H? I, I have no idea, but welcome. Um, so yeah, I'll start a new, a new game up here. Am I sure I want to start a new quest and overwrite the save progress? Yes. Uh, I will play on normal. That's fine. Just call me Coast. Now, how loud is this for you guys? Because it's kind of loud in my headphones here. Hopefully it's okay. As you can see, uh... Well... <clears throat> I announced in my, uh... In the Twitter post, well... I said that I was going to have an announcement. And my announcement is this. I am going to attempt to do a regular, uh... Two or three times a week stream. And the current plan is to do the stream every Tuesday and Thursday, around 7 p.m., and possibly some Sundays as well. Uh, this is a pretty big decision for me because I've never done anything, LP videos or anything like that, on a regular schedule. Um, hopefully, I think I will be able to keep it up because I enjoy streaming quite a bit. And, uh,. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, once I stop working overtime, I'll probably move the time back a little bit, so it's not quite so late. Um, they're saying the uh, they're saying the, the sound is too loud. Let me turn that down real quick. Actually, it seems a little. Oh, never mind. Did you guys hear any of that? Okay, well... Okay, so yeah, uh, basically, um, two or three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, 7 o'clock for now, that's my goal, and uh, part of this goal will be, but when I streamed before, I tried to, uh, I, I tried to, well, I wanted it both ways, I wanted a live stream where I can interact and, you know, chill and, you know, chat with people and stuff. But I also tried to do like the LP style, where you explain everything and you uh, and you give like a point by point, point by point walkthrough of whatever you're playing. And it occurred to me that the reason I've been averse to streaming is because I can't really keep up that pace for that long if I try to explain the game. So uh, I'm going to tone that down a little bit and just kind of just kind of take it as it goes. Just try to you know make it a more relaxed thing. 
Um, there are two uh, there are two schools of thought really on whether uh, well, I mean, there are the people who really like the LP videos, just to straight up, you know, play this for ten minutes at a time, you know, talk the entire time. And then there are people who just like hanging out in streams, and, you know, you don't necessarily have to talk the entire time, but it's just cool to, like, hang out and, you know, chill. And I, I realize that I'm not going to make everybody happy with this arrangement, but, you know, if people, you know, I mean, LPs are... are the past, you know, Streamy is the future. Streamy is the new LP, so if you're still stuck on the old format, I suggest you, uh, you get with the program. Um, most of the people are here because of me, not because of the games. Well, <clears throat> I mean, me, personally, I don't really watch streams or, or LPs unless I'm interested in the interested in the game, like, really interested in the game, or if the person doing it is really interesting. So, uh, I, I figure most people will probably fall into the first category, since I'm not really particularly interesting. Um, yeah, more, more just Dracoon says, Streamy is definitely where it's at. Um, just had someone pop into the chat room, Galen or Rayleigh, uh, but they left. Oh no, no, there they are, they're back. And, uh, Chrono1 is in the chat as well. Welcome, Chrono. Alright, uh, so as you can see, this is basically Arkanoid Quest. The story is bare, you know, the bare minimum. <laughs> I like that guy flexing his muscles there. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Puzzle Quest, the way they handle the story. Um, th there, there really isn't one. You're a wizard, and this town has been destroyed, and these people are all, uh, you know, victims of whatever force destroyed the town. I wasn't really paying attention. What's the, uh... I'm trying to... Oh, okay, it's J. I use the mouse to control the paddle. You can also use the arrow keys. And usually, uh... I mean, for pretty much every menu, J is accepting, K is cancel. And everyone you talk to in the town here is going to ask for a certain quantity of money. And I'm assuming that once you give them however much money they're asking for, which I don't have, then that shop is rebuilt and you can buy like new spells and stuff there. Uh, I have 300 gold at the moment and I did this part before and there are only a couple things that you can uh, you can donate money to the dog. I don't know what that does but I mean he looks trustworthy. Hey he gave me a key. Sweet. That was a pretty good investment. An enormous flying eye struck my house with a lightning bolt. Yeah. So you have some mysterious force that destroy the entire town, and your job is to go and play Breakout and collect enough gold to rebuild the city, basically. And that's pretty much all there is to it so far. All I've played is the, uh, I did the little first town that we talked to everybody, and I moved on to the, uh, the first real area of the game. Uh, welcome to the chat, uh, Smartman and Star Fox, spelled... F-A-U-K-S A Venn diagram of streaming and LP would overlap a bit. Yeah, it's, it's kind of getting that way. Um, for anyone who's having trouble with the chat, what I recommend doing, what I do, is, uh... Actually, I don't know... I don't know if this would work for other people, but I'm using an actual IRC client. Uh, you just connect to, uh... to Duke of the Bump dot jtvchat.com, I think, and uh, you can join the chat room that way. Um, I'm not sure if that would work, but it might be worth trying. The sprites in this game are really cool. Uh, they're done by uh, Paul Robertson, the guy who did the sprites for the Scott Pilgrim game. And the thing that I know him from is that crazy video from a few years back, the, uh, the pirate robot baby cabana thing. I forget exactly what it's called, but it had like Game Boy style sprites. It was just this really bizarre, you know, fucked up, ten minute long, you know, basically video game cutscene, and it was really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if he's actually part of the company that made this game, or if they just, uh, they just kind of contracted it out to him. But, uh, yeah, the game looks really cool. And the, the music for this part of the game sounds almost exactly like the, uh, 
the dungeon music in the original Leg Legend of Zelda is just different enough, probably, to uh, to avoid any copyright claims. Uh, you have four spells you can use at the beginning of the game. Well, five technically, but one of them you can only use when you die. Uh, there's a fireball, which you cast by right by left-clicking the mouse, and there is a gust of wind, which you cast by uh, no, you cast a fireball by left clicking, you cast a gust of wind by right clicking. The gust of wind gently nudges the uh, the direction of the ball. Now if you press the uh, if you click the mouse button as the ball is hitting the paddle, the left mouse button does that little uh, it turns the ball red where it basically passes through obstacles instead of just bouncing off of them. And if you right click, you can basically position the ball wherever you want it. And if you die, if you lose a ball, you can uh, you can either just launch the ball normally, or you can cast a teleport spell, which lets you put the ball basically exactly where you want on the screen. And I just wasted all my magic showing off the uh, showing off the different spell abilities, but the first few levels really aren't that difficult, um, so hopefully it won't be an issue. You get a ton of magic here in the uh, in the first level. If you uh, if you get stuck in a position where the ball is just bouncing repeatedly, like first, if, if it doesn't actually hit a block, it's just bouncing back and forth, it recharges a little bit of, of your magic. So if you really get stuck, say when it starts flashing like that, that means your next hit will re will replenish a little bit of energy. Um, which I'm going to go on ahead... Oops. Um, yeah, that might work. There we go. And when the last block on the screen is cleared, uh, the ball disappears, and any power-ups remaining you can, you can collect before you continue. Uh, let's see what's going on in the chat. Reminds me of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Have to play that one. The protagonist's nose is red. Is he an alcoholic? Uh, well, the game doesn't mention anything about that, but, uh, that could be the, uh, the untold backstory here. When you first launch your ball, it, uh, it has this little arrow, which lets you guide where you want to shoot it, more or less. And I I'm still in the tutorial, as you can see here, because it shows you, uh, which spell you want to cast there, to get the most out of this level. The uh, the potions replenish magic. The uh, I'm not sure what the red gems do. I think they might just be points. And the coins are obviously coins that you uh, spend in the town and, and donate to people. Uh, you can collect keys to unlock doors that take you to little bonus stages. And uh, that's that's all I found so far. But like I said, I only this is all I've seen in the game. Uh, I played through this this world and I fought the boss of this level and that's it. So. I, I haven't even unlocked any of the uh, any of the donating stuff in uh, the town. This reminds me of Kirby Block Ball for the Game Boy. Another one I haven't played. Must have been drinking absinthe. You know, from what I hear, the hallucino hallucinogenic properties of absinthe are like greatly exaggerated. Like mostly the reason it was banned. This is because people were drinking way too much of it and destroying their livers for the reason it was made illegal. I don't know if it's... I think they, like, lifted the ban on absinthe in the U.S. recently. But yeah, from what I hear, the hallucinatory qualities are pretty minor. But I've never tried it, so what do I know? So yeah, I was going to play more Binding of Isaac, but I thought since I just played that a couple days ago, I'd switched up a little bit. Um, I'll pop in and just do like a game of Binding of Isaac every once in a while, but uh, I won't. I, I won't try to overdo it. I really like that game though, but I know people don't want to see that all the time. The bad thing about this game is that I can't really watch the chat at all, except, you know, between levels. At least with Binding of Isaac, you know, I could look at the chat, uh, you know, between rooms, you know, see what's going on. 
but uh, I kind of worry that I was like focusing too intently on the chat room anyway, so it might be a good thing to like kind of force my attention away from that. This game has some pretty good music too. I mean, other than sounding exactly like Legend of Zelda. And it's like, even though the game looks and sounds really old school, like the animation is, is still really fluid. Uh, you know, the sound is you know, straight out of uh, a Super Nintendo game. But, you know, the controls and everything are, uh, you know, uh, they're, uh, they're not as limited as it would be on the Super Nintendo. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Rix, Maddie, and Saya Chan, and Sirius Kakudima. Do Poffle Mail. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I like Poffle Mail. Um, but it is extremely difficult and frustrating, and I lost my save from the last LP I was doing, so I don't know if I'll ever actually finish that. It's kind of weird, like, when when the game's going, like, my mouse cursor is captured, like, I can't move it out of the window. Like, I can't scroll the, uh, I can't scroll the chat window up, so. Uh, let's see. Absinthe nowadays does not have hallucinogenics. Absinthe used to be hallucinogenic, it's not anymore. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I watched over 130 apps of Northern Lions Binding of Isaac LP. Wow. I don't know if I could handle that much. Is there much story to this game past the initial village? I don't know. I haven't really made it out of that yet. Well, uh, everything I've seen past the initial village is just basically what you've seen so far. Uh, I don't know what the uh, what the used amulet does. I'm assuming that's kind of po some kind of power up I will get uh, at some point during the game, but I haven't found that yet. Uh, let's see. Let's put it over here. So far, these little enemy guys, they don't actually come close enough to touch your paddle. So I don't know if they're enemies that can actually come down and hurt you, or if they're just kind of there to get in the way. There are curses that you can get um, that shrink the size of your paddle and uh, do other undesirable effects. One cool thing that this game does that Arkanoid didn't do is that if you, uh, if you get the power down to shrink your paddle, and uh, if you shrink your paddle down all the way, like as far as it can go, oh, that heart's a one up. And this is a uh, bonus stage. Uh, if you shrink your paddle down as far as it can go, and you get another power down, your paddle like totally disappears. Like it shrinks into oblivion, which is pretty cool. If you're gonna play this game, which you should, it's like three bucks on Steam. Oh fuck. Uh, what I recommend doing is uh, using mouse controls and then turning the uh, paddle speed up all the way because you get a much more precise uh, control, more analog control over the paddle than if you're using the arrow keys. But it can also lead to situations like the one I was just, just in where I jerk the paddle a little too quickly and I end up overcompensating and missing out. Fortunately that was just a bonus stage so I didn't lose a life for that. And I did get the one up in the bonus stage, so my magic meter is full, so more magic wouldn't have really been a big deal. I was going to try playing with my air conditioner on, since it's kind of uh, uncomfortable in here. But I'm just afraid that it would be way too loud, and like you'd be able to hear the constant hum of it on the uh, on the audio. So I just turned it on for like an hour when I got home from work before I started playing, and uh, hopefully that will be enough to sustain me.
Dungeon Hack is such an awful game. Well, I don't agree with that. I still like it. It's one of my favorite roguelikes. What about Laptop Mouse? I wouldn't recommend trying to play this with like a trackpad or something. It, uh... I don't see that working out well. I'm actually using a, a trackball, not a traditional mouse, which is the standard mouse that I use on my computer. But yeah, if you're playing on the, on the laptop, I would recommend plugging in a, uh, plugging in a regular mouse. So far I've been able to get by without using too much magic. One of my, uh, one of my mistakes, one of the mistakes I was making when I was playing this for the first time, uh, I was kind of overusing magic, like when I didn't really need to. Like I was using fireballs just to, uh, to make things go a little more quickly. So when I really needed my magic, I ended up in positions where I didn't have any. There are way better roguelike games I have done in exploration. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, my favorite roguelike is NetHack, but uh, I, I still like Dungeon Hack. Okay. Uh, this is the item shop. You can buy an extra life, or you can buy the uh, magnet, which makes the ball stick to your paddle. I assume until until you lose a life. Um, I got this at one point, and it lasted like beyond the end of a level, so and it only went away when I died, so I guess it stays a pretty long time. Or you could buy a potion to max out your magic, which uh which my magic is already full, so it's showing up as sold out. Uh I don't think I'll buy anything at this point. I don't really need anything. I have five lives, which is pretty good. And the magnet it, it's helpful but I find it just kinda slows things down. Because it makes the ball stick to your paddle every single time it touches it. Which is helpful if, uh... Oh, shit. There, there I go again. Okay, uh, you can see I have two options. I can just launch it, or I can press K or right-click on the mouse to cast a teleport spell. Which lets me put the ball basically anywhere I want to. Which I use there just to, just to kind of show that off. Yeah, the, oh, that's a curse, and I did not really have a choice but to get that, or else I would have lost a ball. I guess that, sh that shrank my paddle a little bit. It's not too bad, but if you, uh, if you get too many of those, then you're going to have a bad time. So I went to Wendy's after work today, um, and I don't really want to uh, to say this in a politically incorrect way, um, but it was like a uh, a convention of mentally handicapped people there. I'm not sure what they were all there for, uh, but the lobby was pretty much full of them and their caretakers. Uh, luckily, I got there like. After, shit, I got there after the they went through the line and everything, uh, so there was nobody, like, I didn't have to wait for them to be served or anything, but I imagine the people working there had to be pretty, uh, pretty annoyed by that. I mean, you know, it is what it is, I mean, I don't have a problem with them or anything, but when you are in a public service like that, and you have to deal with a large number of people like that, and it's probably not fun. Uh, let's see. Talking about roguelikes in the chat room. French fry when you should have pizza. Yeah. Dungeon Hack is unbalanced. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing about Dungeon Hack. It is way easier with uh, a cleric than any other class. And, I mean, it's pretty impossible with most other classes. But just always play a cleric. Problem solved. I cannot work with mentally handicapped people, no offense to them, but I am extremely impatient with people. Yeah, um... I, I mean, they weren't working with them. They, they were just serving them. Um... But I mean, I, I've worked retail before, and uh, 
I, I mean, I imagine that the, uh, you know, their caretakers or whatever were doing the ordering and everything, but I don't know. I, I shouldn't rush to judgment like that. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Psychic Psych. Man, everyone in here pretty much was here for the last stream. Cool. I appreciate you guys coming back. And here we have a heart. I wish I could cast a teleport spell now and put it in that little divot up there. That'd be pretty cool. But you can only cast a teleport spell after you die, not, not for the initial launch. Um... I think I will try to stick it up in this corner and get these treasure chests. Man, these wolf people sure look angry about something. I guess they must have a boring job. Just marching back and forth in a random order. Not really able to do anything about the wizard. According to the game's lore, the uh, the paddle is actually the magic wand, and the wizard himself transforms into the orb, like at the beginning of the of the, uh, the level. So that's that's the wizard, like bouncing around up there, and I'm controlling the wand. Kind of a uh, kind of a weird concept for a game, but but I think it's fun. I mean, Arkanoid is fun, and, you know, add RPG-ish mechanics to that, and it makes it even better. Of course, I haven't really seen any kind of, uh, any kind of character advancement or anything yet, like, the ability to learn new spells or anything. Woo! Managed to get that one up without losing a ball. But, uh, I, I imagine the character advancement comes once you start making donations in the town. Like, the stores open up, and you can start buying new spells and stuff. Because one spell that would be useful would be the ability to slow the ball down when it reaches these kinds of levels. Although when you use the, uh, the fairy wing spell, it does make the ball slow down once it, uh, oh shit, once it, you know, it goes back to normal, which is handy. But that uses a pretty good bit of mana. Here's a problem with Dungeon Hack is based directly on D&D. D&D is party oriented. It doesn't really work in solo mode. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, that's why uh, Eye of the Beholder is a much better game than Dungeon Hack. You know what? Yeah, you convinced me. Dungeon Hack sucks. You've uh, you've earned a convert. I guess there really isn't a reason to play Dungeon Hack instead of a better roguelike. I just liked it at the time because I didn't even know what a roguelike was. The only other one I played was uh, Fatal Labyrinth for the Genesis. Which is also a good game, but not, again, you know, there are better roguelikes. The worst thing about Fatal, Fatal Labyrinth was the fact that you couldn't save. Which, I mean, you know, in most good roguelikes, you can't, they don't have shit. They don't have a save system in the traditional sense, but uh, you can like quick save, and then you know. I mean, it would break a roguelike if you could abuse saves, which you can do in Dungeon Half, by the way. If you have a, uh, like an identify scroll, you can save your game, use the scroll, and load your game once you find out what an, what an item does. And uh, the, way, the way it works in that hack is you can save your game, but you can't continue playing at that point. And then once you load that save game, uh, you resume your game, but the save itself deletes. So if you quit without saving, I mean, it, you know, basic basic quick save concept. Um, I mean, it, it's still possible to cheat and abuse that by uh, by making a copy of your save and uh, and putting it back in the directory. But that's just way too much effort. And really, if you're going to do that, why are you playing a, ro a roguelike anyway? Seems a little on the hard side. Um, 
I mean, this is just the first level world, technically, and I'm already dying, like, a few times. I'm kind of worried about what it's going to be like in the later levels. The fireball is probably the, uh, the best spell to use. Well, I mean, it, it uses the least amount of mana, so you can use that without really having to worry about it. The townspeople are kind of unthankful. You rebuild the, their house and they still sell stuff to you. Yeah, well, you know, it's the Dark Ages. So what happens when you lose all your lives? I don't know. It hasn't happened to me yet. I mean, you can't... If I were to quit the game right now, um, I would have to start all over at the beginning with level 1. Like, it's saved after each, each chunk of levels. Like, there, I think there are 12 levels in the first one. But if you quit at any time during that, then it doesn't save your progress. So I assume if you lose all your lives, you just have to start over at the beginning of that level. You need to remake Fatal Labyrinth. Make it first person 3D and just update everything. It would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are games like that. I mean, that's basically what, uh, well, I guess Legend of Grimrock is still more of a, uh, more of a real-time game, like, like a dungeon hack or a, uh, or an Eye of the Beholder. But yeah, that'd be cool. A first-person roguelike that uses more traditional, uh, you know, turn-based combat. That'd be pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Do I want to buy an extra life? I have quite a lot of money. But I still have four lives at this point, so I think I'm good for now. Rimrock is more Eye of the Beholder than Fatal Labyrinth, yeah. I still want to play that game. It looks pretty cool. What does that button do? I believe it uh, opens up that other door. I might uh, spend some magic trying to get over there and get it before I uh, before I clear this level. Did any of you guys click on that uh, the Pong's link I posted on Twitter a few days ago? This dude made this uh, this flash game, and it's basically like. 20 or 30 different variants on the game Pong, and there's a, uh, there's a, like, there's an epilepsy version where the screen is, like, constantly flashing, there's a reverse Pong where you're, instead of playing with paddles and balls, well, you still play with a ball, but instead of paddles, you basically control a wall with a hole in it, and you have to get the ball to go through the, uh, go through the little hole, and just cute little stuff like that. Like there's a uh, there's a serious pong variant where instead of paddles you use the flags of two countries and instead of a ball you have uh, refugees and you're trying to get the refugees past one country. I mean it still plays exactly the same. It's just it's just kind of, just kind of funny. I'm trying to think of some of the better uh, some of the better ones. Uh, what was there? The only problem with it is it's two player only. There's no uh, there's no play against the PC mode in any of them. Uh, player one uses the arrow keys, and player or player one uses uh, W and S, and player two uses the arrow keys. But but I was still just messing around, you know, playing both sides just to, just to see what happens. There's a uh, <laughs> there's a turn-based pong where a as the ball's approaching your paddle, it comes up with a uh, with three options: you know, move paddle up, move paddle down, or keep paddle in the same position, and uh, <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Not sure who made that. Pretty clever dude. Hopefully I can get that chest before I, uh... You know, I'm not sure if the chest counts as a block or not. I'm not sure if the ball will disappear. Well, I guess we're about to find out. If the ball disappears as soon as the last block is gone, or if I can still open the chest.
But I got the chest anyway, so it doesn't matter. Duke, why not use magic when you have your meter at 100%? If you select a mana potion and your mana meter is full, it's kind of wasted. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know. I'm, I'm just playing more conservatively than I should, probably. Broke is a hack and slash roguelike and can be played in first person. Might be worth checking out. Hmm. Never heard of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to use more... Well, I mean, the other thing is... You don't want to, uh... To focus too much on... Uh, well, I, I guess you kind of have to, though. But, uh, I don't want to detract too much of my attention from, uh... From just... Not dying. You know what I mean? Like, if, I, if I'm thinking, hey, I have full mana, I should use a fireball here, or I should... I should use the fairy magic here. Oh, shit, I just lost my ball because I was thinking too hard about this other, other thing. But I guess I'm talking and managing not to die too many times, so... I should be able to, uh... To keep my mind on... One more thing. Poor turtle. He didn't hurt nobody. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, why not? Man, that uses like a quarter of your mana meter, though. But that was pretty good, though. I'm not sure if there's actually any, any uh, reason to collect points or not. I mean, I'm sure there are achievements tied to it. But I don't think they have any in-game effect. I'm not sure what the achievements in this game are. I mean, I played enough to completely beat the first level. And the only achievement I got was one for beating the first boss. So, no achievement for, uh, for opening secret doors or hoarding your mana or anything like that. I mean, not that I give a flip about achievements, but it, uh, I don't know, it makes things a little more interesting, I guess. out of hand. Welcome to the chat. Uh, oh, he left. I think you get bonus money for collecting everything. It was, oh, I, I think that was the perfect bonus. Uh, you get that for not losing a life in the, in the level. I haven't, I haven't seen a bonus for collecting everything. Ah, uh, Private Steve and Galen or, or Ailey left the chat room. That makes me sad. Obviously my uh, my commentary must not be up to snuff. I'll have to step up my game. Speaking of stepping up my game, everyone should go see the movie Cabin in the Woods. I went to see that with uh, with Mortis Dracoons recently and it was it was surprisingly good. Don't read anything about it. Don't look up any trailers. Um, just go check it out. It is... Oh! Achievement Unlocked. Telekinesis. I wonder what that's for. I think it's for not touching the ball at all with your paddle during the... Uh, during the level or something. Oh. Galen or Gailey didn't leave. They're just not showing up in the user list for some reason. That's a weird... Uh, Weird bug with with the Justin to, Justin TV Twitch TV chat room. Sometimes people just don't show up in the user list. Uh, welcome to the chat, Bash Four. My favorite roguelike is Alona. I've heard of that one. Um, isn't that like the multiplayer one? Or my no, Alona is the one with like the really pretty graphical tile set. Welcome to the chat room, Ventus Knight. Glad you can make it. Thanks for coming. 
Your name sounds familiar. Have I, have I, have I seen you in a, a live stream before? Pretty sure I have. Fireballs can take out these enemies in just a couple hits. I should probably do more of that. Of course, I can't do anything with these damn potted plants are in the way. Oh, die. Die. Thank you. It's me, Ventus, with Perpin J. Uh... Are you in the chat room with us? That, that must be where I've seen you. I don't go into the Skype chat room nearly as often as I should. I like Brogue and Dungeons of Dreadmore. Dungeons of, Dungeons of Dreadmore is awesome. I haven't really played that much of it, but a little bit I've played is pretty cool. Welcome to the chat room, King Recycle. Glad you can make it. Pull up a seat. Enjoy. Do I want to buy anything? Uh, not really. I apologize if I forget any of you. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm going to try to be more social in the uh, in the Twitch.tv streaming community, and you know stream more often and you know remember people's names or remember people's pseudonyms anyway. I'm missing tons of coins. Trying not to die. Although this is way more, damn it! In fact, this is way more coins than I had at the last at this point, the last time I played this game. I might be able to actually unlock something. I don't know if uh, if it's like, I mean, it might be like uh, Splunky, where you have to donate money to the digger over you know a long period of time over several games in order to. Uh, to unlock the, the passageway. Or you might just need to donate stuff once. I have not actually gotten that far yet. But you know, I wanted to stream the game kinda blind, just to make things a little bit more interesting. I think this was originally an Xbox Live Indie title that was later ported to Steam. Same as, uh, oops, Breath of Death 7 and Cthulhu Saves the World. Both these guys make some more games. They're pretty cool. I like it. I believe this is the last level before the boss. I think I want to start LPing some GBA games. Go for it. I mean, most most of the best GB, GBA games are ports of Super Nintendo games. So, uh, the only recommendations... Well, most of the recommendations I have would be better served on the Super Nintendo. Um, Metroid Fusion was a really good uh, GBA exclusive. And Metroid Zero Mission, the two Metroid games. There was a GBA Zelda game, Minish Cap. Which I enjoyed up until, like, the very, very last part of the, uh, the last dungeon. Which, I ended up getting frustrated and quitting. You know, I have never beaten a Zelda game in my life. Well, I kind of beat the first one, but that was when I was, like, a little kid and my mom was helping me for most of the time. And, uh, I remember, uh, I think she was the one who actually, damn it, who actually beat Ganon. I don't think I actually beat him, so it doesn't count. Are there upgrades that are permanent? I'm pretty sure there are. Um, looks like the curse that shortened your wand was permanent. Wow. You know, I didn't think about it, but it looks like that might be the case. Hopefully it'll go away at the end of this, uh, this overall level. Are there inside upgrades? <laughs> I don't know. I'll uh, maybe I'll see if I can donate some money to Smiling Bob. See if he can help me out with that. <laughs> I 
That would be a pretty good upgrade, though. One that permanently uh, upgrades the size of your paddle. Probably going to do Final Fantasy, Golden Sun, maybe a Link to the Past. Uh, Golden Sun is good. Link to the Past and Final Fantasy just do the Super Nintendo or the uh, or the NES versions of the games. NES for Final Fantasy. Well, there are better versions of, uh, of Final Fantasy one, two, and three. But uh, I mean, the the GBA version of Link to the Past is really annoying because it has. Like, with all the Super Nintendo ports on GBA, they added stupid vocal effects to all of them. Like, with Link to the Past. Every single time Link swings a sword, it's, eh? Eh? Ah! Eh? And then they added these really... I mean, Yoshi's Island. I, I have to turn the sound off, because... Damn it! I got too angry at GBA... at SNES ports on GBA. I need to, uh... I need to find my calm. But they did it to the uh, the Mario Advance games too. All of the sound effects from like Mar or the vocal effects from Mario 64, like it's a me, a Mario, all that crap. They put all those in the Mario Advance games. I think. Maybe I'm thinking of. I know there are Mario games on the GBA that had those. That pissed me off. Dawn of Souls is much better than original Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's probably true. Welcome to the chat room, 3 Jack Burton. Uh, anyone else? Nope. Oh, Private Steve's back. Welcome, Private Steve. I, I enjoyed what I played of the first Golden Sun, but once again, I freaking never finished it. And boss time. It's pretty easy. He pretty much just uh, moves back and forth, and he occasionally fires a slow-moving tornado at you. I think I might just blow through all my mana here, because I'm pretty sure it regenerates at the end of at the end of the world. Oh, I'm out. Man, that went quick. But yeah, once I beat this boss, everything after that point will be new to me, since I pretty much immediately quit after this last time, because I was just trying the game out. I really hope my paddle goes back to normal. Small paddle kind of sucks. I mean, another way you can get your paddle back to normal is by being shrunk so many times that you disappear. I mean, you'll lose a life, but I'm assuming that when your paddle comes back, it'll be at full length. Ah, uh, Poor puppy. He was just confused. Do Super Gunstar Heroes. This makes me want to go back and watch some of your old LPs. You were one of the first LPs I watched. Aw, oh, thank you. RPGs really aren't great for LPs. Eh, it depends. I've seen good LPs of RPGs. Um, I really love the Giant Bombs Chrono Trigger Endurance Run, but that's one that's uh, that's well suited to that kind of thing. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Odin337, or Odinit if you're uh, if you're speaking Leet speak, Leet speak. And welcome to the chat room, Land Shark Rar. And you guys have some weird names. Of course, who am I to talk? I'm Duke of the Bump. All right, let's head back to uh, back to Terra Village and see if I can uh, spin some of this Skrilla. Hey, why didn't you tell me that before? Can you really do that? You bet. Welcome to Terra. I'll talk to some of these other people. Without my tavern, I'll be ruined. I missed all the gossip going on. Doing 350? No. Let's see what my other options are. An enormous flying eye struck. Oh yeah, it's you. No. I could. I wonder if I can get more keys from the dog. Nope. He's just happy. Hey kid. 
Elaine, the great hero of Berudo, was born and raised in our town. How could those monsters destroy his statue? Boo-hoo. We can donate to fix the statue, I guess. I don't know if that's a good idea. Donate to this guy? No. Isn't there like a weapon shop or an item shop or something? That's what I want to donate to. Can't do any business without a nice shop. 750? Uh, sure. I will finally open my shop tomorrow. I guess that means I have to do another level before I come back here. Or do another level before it, uh, before it regenerates. Damn, a lot of people in the chat room. You guys are awesome. The four sacred children of Grudo had the power of summoning the forces of nature. What about you, muscle man? Mayor cares more for his citizens than for himself. I'd rebuild his house if I had the funds. 999. I probably should have gone with that, because the most expensive thing has got to be the best thing, right? I'm not keen on RPGs when the LPR insists on voice acting. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of a... kind of a turnoff. Are you able to grind the first level for gold? I'm pretty sure you can. I haven't tried going back there, but, uh, it didn't look like it's, uh, no longer accessible or anything. Alright, let's try leaving and coming back and see, let's see if that shop is there. No. I guess I have to do a, another level before... Oh wait, that's not the right one. Oh yeah, cool, it's there. Alright, let's see what I can get. Probably just the same three... No? I can get a, uh, get a paddle extension, it looks like. That is probably worth it. Enlarge your magic wand. It really is the inside upgrade. I wonder if I can come back and get another one of those. Nope, sold out. Well, at least I can go back there for... Oh, it doesn't refill your magic after the levels. That sucks. And I probably just restored my paddle back to normal size, instead of making it larger. Go ahead and refill that. Huh. Poke Smot 420. Wow, seriously? Is that... When you send your resume to employers, unless you're, like, in school or whatever, but I, I really hope you don't give out Pokesmot420 as your, uh, your email address. Pokesmot420 at hotmail.com. So unprofessional. Alright, chat room. I have 767 gold pieces left. Who should I give it to? I will let you vote. I can't give him to this guy because he wants 999. I can give him to the kid and fix the statue. I can give him to this lady, or I can give him to this guy. I don't know what what you get from doing any of these things. Actually, I haven't even been over here. Is there anything over here? These little cows are so cute. I can give a hundred to, to this lady, which I might do since it's only a hundred. I don't know what that does, though. Because this guy wants 350 to rebuild his farm. Give him to the lady. Tavern, lady. Probably a good idea. Please accept this reward as a token of my gratitude. You got a key. Oh, neat. Alright, let's come back and, uh, see what's there. Give it to the cow. Okay. I would have never believed that such hideous creatures existed if I haven't seen, seen them with my own eyes. I can't loot the chest? Well, what's the point of rebuilding your house if I can't ransack it and take all your stuff. What a ripoff. Smasher pots. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You can't really interact with anything in the environment in these parts of the levels. Please check the shop to see if the inventory changed when you left town. Bang her. Which key is the banger key? Nope. 
steal her dog. Pretend to smash her pots. 250G got you things back in these days. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I basically built an entire house for next to nothing. Alright, let's see what you have to offer. My father will be relieved. Please accept this reward. Another key. Okay. Uh... Sure. Extra life. Neat. Alright, I doubt there's anything... Oh. I didn't see this guy either. I doubt there's anything you can you actually get from the farm, but... Without a water mill, we can't produce flour. People are starving. Oh. Well, I guess that guy's a little more important than... Than that lady's house. Man, what a selfish bitch. People in the town are starving. The farmer can't grow vegetables. The miller can't produce flour. But please rebuild my house! Can I talk to them? Yeah. Hmm, they say moo. Who to thunk it? Feel terrible now, please. Okay. I feel terrible. Welcome to the chat room. Uh, the GTF. <laughs> there is no cow level. <laughs> I think they added that in a patch or something. My daughter has a decent place to live. Is this a collectible item? No. Just decoration. Can I sleep in your bed? Cannot sleep in an owned bed. Bang the farmer's daughter. Yeah, I mean, I heard there was supposed to be, like, a dating sim aspect to this game, but I haven't really seen anything like that. Who the hell are you? Donate one? Sure. <laughs> oh. You got me. Alright. That's enough dicking around here. Let's move on to the next level, shall we? There's a video game about that. I believe it's called Farmer's Daughter. I wouldn't be surprised. I wonder what country it's from. What country would produce a game like that? Yeah, it has total, and then... Actually... Are you sure you want to go back? No. I'm pretty sure it auto-saves at this point, so I want to try going back here and see... See what's there. Okay. Yeah, you can just totally replay th these levels again. I thought it might have more, uh... Have more houses there or something. Okay, well I won't do that. Let's go back to the map. You'll probably buy some drugs with that 1G. Yeah, probably. Some orbs need to be whizzed. Huh? Better to be whizzed off than whizzed on. That's what I always say. Actually, that's what I've never said before in my life, up to this point. I keep getting kicked. JTB really needs to do something about their chat. Yeah, I, I mean, I heard it was having problems. Um, but I also heard that they fixed those problems recently. So, apparently, those rumors are greatly exaggerated. Look at how big my paddle is now, man. Is it bigger than it was when I started? I think so. I think the curse went away at the end of, uh... After I beat that boss, and then when I bought that upgrade... It's an actual... Permanent upgrade. I don't know though, it's hard to tell. I mean, it might be a very small gradual increase, or it might be the same size. I'll have to, uh, play the video footage back later. There I go again, being conservative with my magic. I could just blow all these blocks to smithereens, but... I'll hang on to it. Especially since it doesn't refresh your magic at the end of a level. It's kind of messed up. 
I mean, can't I rest? No rest for the wizard orb, I suppose. I just coined that phrase. It's copyrighted and trademarked. If you use that phrase in the future, you owe me royalties. And you owe the people who made wizard orb royalties too, I guess. How I open that door? I mean, it's not locked. There's no button on this on this level. I don't understand what the blocks are supposed to be. I think they're just supposed to be blocks. It's like Freud said: sometimes a block is just a block. Oh, well, apparently Farmer's Daughter is a, uh, a Commodore 64 text adventure game. Maybe you open the door with a spell. Yeah, possibly. Maybe I was supposed to shoot it with a fireball or something. Now I kind of want to go back. Can I... Yeah. Let's go back to the map and redo that. Oh! I just noticed I have a... Uh, an upgrade there. Ah! Oh, nope, there it is. Active Charms, Long Wand. Sweet. Alright, let's try, uh, once I clear out some of those blocks, I'll try hitting that door with a fireball. Just out of curiosity. I it might be something that I need to rebuild, or something I get from one, from one of the other buildings in town that I rebuild. Like another charm or an amulet or something. Wow, that thing takes three hits. It's kind of crazy. Different music in this level. Not quite so reminiscent of Zelda. Doesn't seem to do anything. Wait, did I get that, uh. that? Uh, yeah, just a magic file. Okay, well, whatever it is, I need to open that door. I guess I'm missing at this point. I might need to, uh, to come back here. Pretty cool music. I dig it. I'm not gonna be able to, uh... Well... It's, it's okay, Mike. It's cool. I don't wanna talk about that here because that's... inside knowledge. Combo Bushbreaker. That was my nickname in high school. That was cool. No problem, dude. Wow. Look at all these slimes. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I wonder if there's like a mass kill spell you can get later in the game. One thing I was experimenting with, um, I'm, I'm actually logging the chat in IRC, and what I'd like to do is get some kind of script that can convert the timestamps into, uh, into SRT timestamps. That's the, uh, that's the file format for subtitles, like, uh, subtitle file for, for a movie or something. And if I can do, if I can do that, then I could upload that to YouTube 
and I could display the chat in the video as closed captions. But I don't really know if that kind of thing is possible or not. Ah, damn it! If that kind of thing is possible or not. I mean, it seems like it should be. It seems like there should be a script or a way to write a script that can do that. But, uh, in my brief searches, I've, I haven't found anything like that. It'd be pretty cool if I could get it working, though. Because the one thing that sucks about the stream is, if you're not there for it live, if you miss out on, you know, the banter and the chat and stuff, you don't really get the full experience. I mean, I do try to, uh, to read the more interesting comments in the chat room and, you know, respond to it, but, uh... But, I mean, it'd be cooler if you could just have the chat room there. Another thing I thought of trying is, uh, is actually recording, like, doing a screen capture on the chat room on another computer. And, uh, doing something with that. Did I miss you getting cursed again? No? Oh. I bet the paddle upgrade only lasted until I lost that life. That's probably what it was. Oh, that kind of sucks, then. But, I mean, it only costs 50 for that upgrade, so... If I if I can buy it again the next time I go to town, then that'd be pretty cool. Looks like your wand is shorter again. Yeah, it's definitely shorter. That's what she said. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, shit. Different kind of curse. I don't want to learn what that one does. Looks nasty though. <gasps> Damn! Oh shit! Oh man, that sucks. Oh, too many curses. Wow. Wonder if there's an item you can get that can protect you from those. That one kind of sucked, though. Like, I couldn't move the paddle at all. wonder how you would actually deal with that. Or it might just be a, uh... The intention might just be an instant death curse. It's like, you have the shit on your paddle, you can't shake it off. Yeah, don't even bother, you're dead. Always nice to get an extra life. Also, I wonder if there are, there are upgrades that give you a uh, a larger magic bar, or let you or make you use magic less frequently or something. Sorry to keep Wanda measuring. Are you able to cast fireball at downcoming curses? You know, that's a good question. I should try that. <laughs> that old man gets happy at the end. Yes, he does. Oh, uh, welcome to the chat. Melkadrian. Melkadrian. Mel. Mel. Welcome, Mel. Fez looks pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, uh, if I still had my 360, I would have probably bought that on day one. Sounds awesome. I was listening to the, uh, the Giant Bomb cast where they were talking about Fez, and they, uh, they completely sold me on it. I'm hoping it'll get a PC port, which seems pretty likely at this point. <clears throat> Since it was developed with, uh, with the XNA stuff, so it would be trivial to port it to PC, I would think. And I don't think Microsoft has any kind of, uh... Any kind of exclusivity agreement or anything. Enlarge your wand? Well, yes. Yes, I will. It's nice that I can actually buy that in the, uh... In the in-game store now. Have you seen the quick look? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it. Of course, that was before, uh... Before they really knew... 
I mean, it's a lot. The game's a lot deeper than anything you see in the quick look, which they kind of talk about in the Bombcast. What's Fez? It's this indie puzzle platformer game. Um, yeah, just look up, just look up Driving Bomb's quick look of it and check it out. That I mean, that's the best way to uh, to get an idea of what it is. All right. Oops. No, I do not want to purchase the extra life. No. One thing that sucks if you're using the mouse is you can't actually click on these. Why well, I did that and the thought I was trying to buy that. You have to actually press K on the keyboard. Alright. I do wonder if you can stack wand upgrades, though. I mean, I wonder if I bought the one in town, if the, the one in that store would still be available. Probably not, I'd say. Probably get this chest. Oh, wasted magic to uh, to get a magic potion. <gasps> Damn it! Yeah, the thing goes away as soon as you die. That sucks. Oh well. A lot of people, a lot of people are boycotting Fez because uh, at the GDC. Well, I don't know if a lot of people are doing this, but I've heard of people being butthurt about this because at GDC, the guy who made Fez, Phil Fish, says something mean about Japanese video games, which is really <sighs> fuck. Why? Oh, I have to kill the monster. Damn it! I thought the ball was going to disappear because I got the last block. I don't really understand why anyone would get offended on behalf of Japanese people, though. I mean, Phil Fish, is, Phil Fish isn't allowed to have an opinion. It's like he expressed an opinion. He didn't say anything mean about Japanese games. He also went on to specify that he has problems with their design, that's all. Well, didn't he say, didn't he have, like, some flippant comment, like... Somebody asked him what he thought about Japanese games, and he, he said they suck, or something like that. That's what I heard. I don't know if I'm boycotting it, but it went from a must-buy from me to to not a must-buy, apparently. Yeah, see, I don't get it. I mean, you shouldn't... I try to separate the art from the artist, you know? I mean, even, even if Phil Fish is a dick, which you're allowed to think, you know, perfectly valid opinion... Even if he is a dick, it doesn't... Oh shit, I meant to shoot fireballs at those. It doesn't lessen the validity of the art that he made, you know? I mean, it's like people who, uh... After the whole thing with Woody Allen, uh... Marrying his... Was it his stepdaughter or his adopted daughter or something like that? Creepy thing to do. Woody Allen is definitely a creepy old, old man. It doesn't mean his movies are any less enjoyable, though. I mean, I don't know. Oh, that was another new kind of curse. He did say that Japanese games suck, but then he continued to say something else. The soundbite is a bit longer than a lot of people say. Is this Orson Scott card? Yeah, see, that's another thing. Orson Scott card. Bonafide asshole. Uh, he is a homophobic dick, and people were boycott boycotting Shadow Complex because uh, because apparently it's based on an Orson Scott Card IP or something, which I don't understand because Shadow Complex was a great game, and Orson Scott Card barely had anything to do with it. So I, I don't understand people. Speaking of Worst and Scott Card, I actually read Ender's Game recently, just to see what all the the buzz was about. Vastly overrated. I'm, I mean, I might still buy it, it just made me rethink my decision. Yeah, and... Oops. Yeah, and I mean, I, that's okay. I just... I mean, you're allowed to, uh... You're allowed to have your opinion too, I, I just don't, don't understand it. 
Which, I mean, I guess if you weren't completely sold on Fez from day one, then, you know, you might rethink it anyway. But, uh, but I've been looking forward to Fez for quite a long time. And there are people who, who have been looking forward to it for a long time who, who did a 180 after his, uh, after his quip. So, I don't know. I just don't understand people who get offended by things, I guess. Which, you know, it doesn't really mean much for me to say that because, you know, I am a straight, white, able-bodied man, so, you know, I don't have any, there's no, you know, minority status in me. I'm, like, totally, completely privileged. So me saying, I don't understand why people get offended by things, you know, I don't really have the perspective to, uh, to really say that, but... Uh, no, you cannot fireball the curses. And that curse just made me lose an extra life. Fuck you, curse. But yeah, pe I mean, people can do what they want, I guess. I mean, if they don't want to buy Fez because they think Phil Fish is an asshole, then that's fine. Just, I, I don't get it. Jesus, that was going fast. Good thing that was the last block. Oh, uh, welcome to the chat room, Monkey Man 8. People were boycotting Shadow Complex because part of the profits went to Orson Scott Card and thus indirectly funded anti-gay political campaigns. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I can, I can understand that. I mean, Orson Scott Card is a dick, but I don't think he deserves not not to make any money for, you know, for people. Who, uh, I mean, if Shadow Complex had like anti-gay messages in it or something then it would be much more understandable, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's like the, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church guys. I mean, as reprehensible as their message is, they're still allowed to say it. People are allowed to, uh, to support them. Which isn't really the same thing. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just talking out of both sides of my mouth. So, on to less serious... depressing discussion. How about a North Korean rocket, huh? Pretty pathetic. Boy, how about that Greece? Their economy sure fucked. Did I seriously just try and say something nice about West Westboro? No, fuck those guys. They're fucking assholes, but... I don't want to pass a law that makes it so they're not allowed to say what they want to say, or anything like that. I don't think they deserve to, uh... You know, they don't... Uh, okay, I'm done with it. What the hell is this design supposed to be? It looks kind of like a, uh... I don't know. Almost like a piranha plant sprite or something? Or some kind of alien space invader sprite? Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I wonder if there are 12 levels in each world. Well, 12 levels plus a boss. There we go. That's the stuff. Man, I should use that way more often. It uses a pretty significant chunk of mana, though. But man, we can clear out that big of a swath of blocks in one go. I don't know, it's kind of worth it. Got yeah, plenty of keys. I wonder if there's any kind of difference in the color of the blocks. Like if yellow blocks are more likely to give you a better power-up or something like that. Where certain blocks are more likely to hold a certain kind of curse.
or curses, period. <gasps> Damn it! It's going way too fast. I should have used my fairy spell. Yeah. Oh well. I meant to, uh, <clears throat> to keep an eye on the clock, because there's no limit to, uh, to the amount of time it records your video, but, uh, for some reason, with the last stream video, when I uploaded it to YouTube, because you can just upload YouTube directly from Twitch.tv, like, it only uploaded the first two hours of the video. It's like two hours and forty minutes long or something. So I just want to stop recording after two hours and, and start a new one. I'm not sure how long I've been going. I doubt it's been two hours yet. I can probably stop now. Nah, I should try doing one more video that's longer than two hours and see if see if the glitch happens again. I mean, even still, it's pretty damn cool that I can just upload it to YouTube directly from Twitch.tv. I don't even have to uh, have to download it and convert it and uh, re-encode it and everything. I'm at about 80 minutes. Okay. Well, I'll I'll just try to keep it going. Oh, apparently the uh, that last pattern was a wasp or a bee or a hornet. Have I tried playing turn-based strategy games like Heroes of Might and Magic? Well, I really like Shining Force um, and Advance Wars. That's pretty much it. I remember some person saying Heretic and Hexen look exactly like Minecraft. Well, that person's dumb. Stop talking about gays. I will. I apologize. I mean, I, I like gay people. I don't want them to be oppressed by Orson Scott Card or the Westboro Baptist Church or anybody, but... Not buying his game isn't blocking his speech. It's speech in itself. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but... I mean, it's a good game. <laughs> I don't know. Westboros are the biggest nut jobs in the world, but they're allowed to feel that way. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much my thinking. If the money only went to Card and he was an asshole, I don't think it would have been a problem. The issue was that Scott's cut of the money went to fund things like the Defense of Marriage Act. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty shitty gray area. I don't know. Oh, welcome to the chat room, uh, Kermudian. Kermudian. I'm partial to Final Fantasy Tactics. I tried playing that, um, I couldn't get into it. The constant grinding that's required, I just couldn't, couldn't really deal with it. Orbs, wisdom. Oh, hold your horses. I'm trying to interact with people. I'm trying to, uh, trying to engage the fans. I mean, this is what this is what uh, being a extremely famous internet celebrity is all about. I kind of like Lady Gaga, and you guys are my little monsters. You know? I mean, just because I'm famous doesn't mean you know I shouldn't interact with you guys. Ooh, new power-up. Uh, do I want an extra life? Actually, yeah, I could probably use a couple of these. But I think I can just buy one. Oh no, I can buy more. Okay, good. Let's stock up. Well, let's, let's not stock up, but let's give me back up to five. The orb starts at a speed twice slower. Hmm. Uh, sure, why not? People are dumb, stop encouraging them. 20 hours of hitting your own player and healing them isn't fun to watch at all. No, I most definitely am not. Am not what? Did I miss something? Or are you responding to something I said? 
Because honestly, I'm like a goldfish. I forget what I say, like, the second after I say them. Ooh. Lots of nice stuff here. I wonder if my slow orb is still in effect. Yep, looks like it. Of course, slowing down the ball does not make for a more interesting video. It makes for an easier game. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. More time to converse with the plebe plebeians, as Galen says. Why would you even need to do that? You just need a calculator. Math breaks the game so hard, but to get to that, to get to that point, you need to beat the shit out of out of your own players. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the calculator's cool from you know what I've seen of it. For viewers at home who are just tuning in, we're talking about Final Fantasy Tactics. I should do those little interludes at various points throughout the uh, throughout the stream. A recap. If you're just tuning in, this is what you've missed so far. Orson Scott Card is a dick. But Shadow Complex is kinda cool. Moral conundrums. That's what this stream's all about. Viewing the stream basically counts as a uh, counts as a credit as a philosophy 101 course. I can send you a uh, I, I can send you a uh, a voucher to uh, to give to your your professors. My stream is an accredited institution. Thank you very much. I feel a lot better about things now that I have seven lives. Life is good again. Oof, that was close. Shit. <laughs> now, too focused on the coin. Let's, uh, let's do that. Oops. Well, at least it slowed it down a little bit. If these weren't in the way, I'd just bring out my fireball. Man, having that chest there really makes things more difficult. I want to get it going, bouncing back and forth between the blocks and... Uh, I almost got it. Man, why the hell are birds tweeting at this hour? It's freaking 8.30 at night. Stupid birds. Don't they realize birds are only supposed to have sex in the morning? You probably can't even hear that on the microphone. Level 8 completed. Duke, the reason to use magic is to clear blocks more often. Or the reason to use magic more often is to clear the blocks quicker so that your orb does not get faster. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Just use the windy thing. It's rather difficult to do that when you have unkillable blocks blocking stuff. Your orb gets faster? Sounds hot. Peggle? Yeah, Peggle's awesome. I, uh, I thought of streaming that, which I probably will still do at some point. It's, it's kind of like this, but... 
Well, I don't know if Peggle's on crack. I mean, I would say it's a more chill game than this. Since you don't have to worry about... I mean, you just drop the ball and then you let gravity do the rest. You don't have to worry about anything after that. Yeah, those are unkillable. If I could teleport the ball and put it inside with that chest, That'd be the best. Peggle is more like Pachinko than Breakout. Yeah. That's true. It's like Breakout Tower Defense. Someone should make that game. Or they, sh they could just add Tower Defense elements to this game. Breakout Tower Defense Quest. Episode 4, A New Hope. I don't know, tower defense is one of those genres, well, one of those things in the zeitgeist that I'm kind of burned out on at this point. I mean, Trench was really cool. It was like a third person action tower defense game, It's pretty awesome. But uh, I think I'm done with it at this point. I got the, uh, the Humble Android bundle, and it came with this game called... Uh, Swords and Soldiers, which, I don't, it's like a 2D tower defense game, I don't know, like a 2D side-scrolling tower defense game, it was really weird, I couldn't get into it. But the other games in the bundle were pretty good, it came with Cannabolt, which most of you have probably played the Flash version of that, if not... I mean, it started the whole, uh, uh, one-button platformer thing, where all you can do is jump, and your character is just perpetually running. And then there's this cool uh, puzzle game called Cogs, which is like one of those sliding puzzles, uh, I, I don't know what it's called, where, where you, you slide the pieces and, uh, and you have to make a picture, only instead of making a picture, you're moving these gears, well, cogs around and uh, manipulating machinery and steam and stuff. It was pretty cool. Trench is the best tower defense game ever. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I wish they would port it to PC and start releasing some DLC for it. I wonder how much of Double Fine is currently focused on the... Uh, on the Double Fine Adventure thing. The Kickstarter thing. Oops. <laughs> I didn't even mean to... to give my ball the, uh, the pass-through thing. So who donated to the Double Fine thing? The Kickstarter? I did. It was only 15 bucks, and I like Double Fine, and I thought it would be cool to watch the documentaries. Which... You know, judging by the first episode, looks we'll say it will be pretty cool. I don't know how quickly they're going to release them, though. What about these other Kickstarters? The Wasteland 2 one? I didn't donate to that one because I never played Wasteland 1, so I don't really have the, uh... I don't really have the connection to it that I, that I do to, uh... Well... Well, I mean, I do like the new Fallout games, which are, like, kind of based on the Wasteland games, and I think had some of the same people working on them. Uh, but, I don't know, it didn't really grab me. I did donate to the, uh... You know, I wonder, if I use... this... I wonder if it actually goes through the enemies and kills them in one hit. I don't think I ever tried that be an interesting experiment. But uh, I did donate to the uh, the Shadowrun Kickstarter for the new turn-based Shadowrun RPG because Shadowrun on the Genesis was freaking amazing. It's still one of my favorite RPGs. I don't know if any of the people who worked on that game are, are working on the Kickstarter game. But uh, 
I mean, if the new game is anything like the Genesis one, you know, it's definitely worth donating to. I'm so disappointed with that Shadowrun first-person shooter that came out. I mean, it's such a cool franchise that they could have done so much more with. <sighs> Starting to get pretty warm in here. Tell you what, I'm going to turn my air conditioner on, and you guys tell me if the sound is unbearable. Because, you know, I don't want you guys to have to suffer. So, BRB. Okay, can you guys hear that? Is it... Can you deal with it? No, you can't hear it, or no, you can't deal with it? Because, I mean, I'll suffer in the heat. I'll suffer for my art if it comes down to that. Because the needs of the many... Whoa! Sweet! That fairy just dropped a ton of loot. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. It's fine, all good, can't hear it. Okay, good. Awesome. That'll make doing these streams much more enjoyable for me. And Galen just rejoined the chat room. Apparently, they're still getting kicked. Sucks. You know, you might want to try going the, uh, the IRC client route. It might be a little more stable that way. Because one thing I've noticed is that the problem you get sometimes with, uh, with Justin.tv chat rooms, they'll, like, load forever, but the chat room will never actually load. Like, it, it'll have a little loading symbol, but not actually do anything. You, using MIRC or XChat or one of those IRC clients uh, eliminates that problem. It just takes you directly into the chat room. So that's one problem with fixes. And I just like having the IRC uh, in a separate thing anyway. I mean, it's just, it's cleaner, it's a cleaner interface than the, uh, the web-based chat room. What happened to my sound? Oh, fuck! You got distracted. Well, I have eight lives. Jesus. Uh, I was gonna unleash some fireballs on this thing, but... I guess there's not really a reason to. And 999 coins, so I'm probably going to do the mayor thing when I get back to town. See what that does. Kind of sucks that the only thing that really benefited me was uh, was the shop. Everything else just kind of gave me uh, gave me keys. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Think Twice M. Oh, you just left. Well, thanks for coming. It was cool. I have a problem where the steam won't load. I guess you mean the stream. I fixed it. Pause and play fixed it. Okay, good. 
yeah, if any of you have issues with the uh, with the stream with stuttering or anything, just refresh. I mean, that happens sometimes with, with Twitch and Justin. How did I get my fan base? Was it mostly from the Lost Vikings LP? Uh, that was a huge boost to it. Um, really, the only reason I have a fan base, I think, is because I jumped on this whole LP bandwagon early. Oh, oh fuck! I can't break those blocks. Why did I launch it there? I mean, I started in 2007, and, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I was among the first, I mean, I'm not sure, I was one of the first ten, maybe? I mean, not to sound arrogant or anything, I mean, all I was doing was copying to see crab, but, uh, you know, I, I jumped on the bandwagon early, and, uh, that got me a few subscribers. That was back in the days when you can search YouTube for a video game, and there was a, a there wasn't a 100% chance that somebody has already done an LP of it. I mean, seriously, try just try searching for Wizard LP or you know any the most obscure game you can think of. Do a search for it, and I guarantee you there's an LP of it, which is kind of one of the reasons I'm moving on to streaming because I mean. Not only are there that many LPs, but a lot of them are probably better than mine. Lost Vikings caused my followers to explode. Mario and Mega Man helped as well. Popful Mail. I don't know if Popful Mail really got me got me that many followers. I've seen people LPing custom level sets for Doom, like Neo Doom and Mass Mouth too. Huh, that'd be pretty cool. One of my favorite uh, level sets for Doom from back in the day was the Seven Deadly Sins one, where the levels are all like themed around one of the Seven Deadly Sins. It was pretty cool. Wonder if anyone's done that one yet. Probably. It's kind of like Rule Thirty Four. It's uh, Rule Thirty Five is if it's a video game, if you mention it a video game. You're going to find an LP of it. Rule 36, no fat checks. No. <laughs> the first rule of LPing is... Don't talk about LPing. Especially not while you're LPing. in a way, that's kind of what I've been doing. But I I'm streaming, I'm not LP. It's a totally different ecosystem. So, it's cool. Hmm, let's see. I think I will do that. Put this ball right up there. Yeah, there we go. That's stuff. Satisfying. Well, this is level 12, so theoretically, this should be the last last level before the boss of this this world. Oh, okay. I was wondering why I didn't have any music. The, the volume control on my headset somehow got turned down. I guess when I stood up to, uh, to turn the air conditioner on. I think I should use another fairy. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. The fairy's kind of weird. Like, you, you can control it with your mouse, and, like, whatever... I don't know. It's weird how it, how it affects the momentum. I can't really explain it. It's like I took myself by surprise with the fairy because I was moving it downwards when the wings disappeared, so the ball continued traveling downwards. Kind of bizarre. And like when it bounces off, you have to like move the mouse back in that direction if you want to change directions again.
Man, I have nine lives on one cool cat. Wah, wah, wah. Landshark Rar. I'm the only one who has no idea who you are. I'm only here because King Recycle Link. Oh, thank you, King Recycle. Yeah, you guys should all spread the word. Tell your friends. Alright, boss time. It is a giant version of the slime. It's kind of the theme here. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Let me go, let me go, let me go! Okay. Oh, fuck! Let me go, let me go, let me go! Whoa. Oh shit. Okay, well, nothing happened when I actually touched him. I don't... Oh, never mind, that kills you. <laughs> but once he lands, I can go through him without taking any, taking any damage. Man, that's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, this boss spray is so cute, I love it. <laughs> He's like, ah, look at me. But what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, tell your friends. Ah, oh, the ball didn't bounce off of him when it was coming from the other direction. That sucks. I'm out of magic, but this dude's almost dead. <gasps> Damn it! But yeah, the level one boss was a bigger version of the uh, the wolf creature. And this boss is a bigger version of the slime. Oh! Got him. Ooh! I got a piece of an amulet, I, I believe. Duke should totally do some more cool LPs with Draconis. I agree. Giant slime. What is this, Dragon Quest? Good thing about those cat lies you have, yeah. Uh, welcome to the chat, Rafi Roos. Thanks for making it. What time is it? 8.48? The amulet looks totally like that symbol on the door. Did it? Interesting. Or I may be wrong. Well, thanks. That's helpful. Dude, this totally awesome thing! Or I might be wrong. Four Sacred Children of Bruda. Okay, so apparently I have to find four of those things. Alright, let's see what you do. This better be good. Please accept this reward. With the remaining bricks, a rampart will be built on the next level. Rampart. Hmm. Nearly two hour mark. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm gonna let it go. I w just, just see what happens. I'm gonna let it go past two hours, and then if YouTube fucks that one up as well, the next time I stream, I'll, uh, I'll just bring it off into, uh, into two, two hour chunks. If you know what I mean. Can I go back into the store? Is the stuff back? I hope so. Cool, it is. Uh, the only thing I'll get is that. The other stuff. Well, I guess I could refill my magic too. Yeah, I better. All right. I, I didn't really have enough to to open up anything else at this point anyway. So I can spend my money on that stuff. And there's abso absolutely nothing in here. But apparently, whatever that rampart is is the real reason to do that. So, I'll go see what that is. Sup, dog? I think that's how you pronounce that. Huh. I got very close to the same amount of money in both these levels. You know what? I could use a drink, so BRB.
And I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to, uh... I had to both eliminate some fluids and replenish some. Oh, uh, Mike left. More distract on left. Oh well. And... Somebody joined, but then immediately left. Please put the YouTube announcement more time in advance. Do not want to miss out on your stream. Uh, you should follow my Twitter account, DukeLPs. Um, I, I posted an, an announcement this morning. Uh, of course, if you don't use Twitter, then you know it's probably not going to be very helpful because you're probably not going to check it. But that's that's how I announce things ahead of time. The YouTube annou announcement is really just uh, an immediate notification that I'm that I'm streaming. Um, so yeah, I recommend using Twitter. Is this an indie Steam game? Yes. Also on XBLIG. Alright, well, we have some people dropping out of the chat room, but... Still, uh, still ten, nine people in here. Ten including me, so still a pretty good turnout. Uh, I will... Hmm. With Mike on, I need a, uh... I need a, uh, a mod in my chat room, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Oh, here we go. Did that work? No? Okay. Well, uh, I doubt it'll really be that that big of an issue. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll probably do one more of these and I'll go to bed. We did the uh, slime forest, clover village, and now we're moving on to the rotten mines. Once again, thanks everyone for for coming. If you have any questions or anything, I'd be happy to field them. I mean, I get all kinds of questions in my. Uh, in my YouTube inbox all the time, so I would think you guys might, uh, you know, this this is your chance. A anybody watching this who's not actually in the stream, this is your chance to ask any questions that you want, and I will do my best to to answer them because I don't always have time on YouTube to uh, to answer all of them. Questions about the game, questions about LPing, questions about life in general. I think this is the best music so far. Very creepy sounding. Very cool. I wonder who actually did the music for this game. If it if it, if it would be someone I recognize. Oh shit, that's getting pretty fast. It's too bad they weren't selling the, uh, the slowdown power-up in the item shop in town. Because I would have bought that, too. Damn, look at all that stuff. Oh, shit! Whoa! There's, like, a, uh, a force field behind me. That's crazy. I should have lost a ball there, but there's, there's stuff there. What was my favorite subject in school? Uh, it depends. English, when I had a good English teacher, um, which was 10th, no, 11th and 12th grade, I had good English teachers. 9th and 10th grade, I had horrible English teachers and made me want to kill myself. But uh, it's definitely my best subject overall. Did I welcome Monkey Man 8? I don't think so. Welcome Monkey Man 8. I welcome... Exergia. Thanks for coming. How many lives to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I couldn't tell you, because those things are disgusting. I hear tell that it's... three-ish? Whoa! Holy shit! Look at all this stuff. There's like, two extra lives floating there. And a key, 
with all kinds of money. This place is awesome. Yeah, if you're gonna do grinding for money, I'd say you just do one of these over and over again. I don't know though. I don't know if you if if you uh, if you keep your if you just do that and then you exit to the map. I don't know if you actually keep the money from that or not. You might have to actually beat the level to keep your money. Otherwise, just keep coming here and get the key and go back there over and over again. Oh, Exerger was here before. Flash plugging crashed. How many Tootsie Pops to the center of a lick? I don't know, man. That shit's too, uh... Too high level for me. I think you just broke my brain. I wonder if the, uh... If the in-level enemies start getting... Scarier at any point. I mean, so far, pretty much all they do is... Walk around or float there. They don't really launch projectiles or anything so far. Just the bosses do that. I mean, the curses are way worse than.